Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the pre-suit phase of a personal injury case. So let's get right into it. During the pre-suit phase of a case, there are typically four major steps that we need to talk about. Investigation, medical treatment, obtaining medical records and bills, and obtaining medical liens. We will talk about each of these steps and then we'll end the video by talking about the overall injury claim process and where we are in that process. Let's start by talking about the investigation. As an overview, the purpose of the investigation is to gather evidence and get a clear picture of what happened. The investigation is ongoing and will continue until the case is resolved. Ultimately, the goal of the pre-suit investigation is to get everything we need to build the strongest case possible. There are many different types of evidence we can use in a case. Typically, when we're investigating a case, we are working to gather evidence like police reports, video footage, photos, witness contact information, the identity of any potential defendant or defendants, and the insurance information for all potential defendants. Now, let's talk about medical treatment. We'll start with a quick overview. The purpose here is for you to get the treatment you need to recover and to have your injuries documented. The time it takes to complete this step will vary, depending on the nature of your injuries. The goal here is to get you to maximum medical improvement so that we can properly account for all of your injuries. When you're going through your medical treatment, Keep in mind that the defense will usually try to make two main arguments when it comes to valuing your injuries. One, they'll try to say you're not really injured, or put another way, they'll say that your injuries aren't as bad as you say they are. And two, they'll try to blame you by basically saying that your injuries are your fault, or in the context of medical treatment, that you didn't do your part to reduce the severity of your injuries. To strengthen these arguments, the defense will point to things like failure to get medical treatment, failure to follow doctor's instructions, gaps in treatment or too much time between appointments, and anything else they can use to deflect responsibility and minimize your claim. So, there's a couple of things you can do to strengthen your case when completing medical treatment. For one, you need to be sure you get medical treatment for your injuries. You need to follow any instructions your doctors give you. And you need to go to your scheduled appointments and avoid significant gaps in treatment. If you do your part, you can take away some of the defense's strongest arguments. Now, let's talk about the process of obtaining medical records and bills. Let's start with a quick overview. The purpose here is to gather all your medical records and bills from every medical provider that has treated you for your injuries. The time it takes to get the medical records and bills will depend on the medical provider. Some providers will get records to us within a week, and others, like hospitals, may take months. The goal is to have all the records and bills so that we can prove what injuries you've suffered and establish the costs associated with those injuries when we send the other side a demand for payment. So, let's talk about the demand for a minute. Once we have gathered everything we need, like records, bills, and liens, we will send a demand package to the defense in an attempt to settle your case. As part of the demand package, we will send a letter demanding payment along with your medical records and bills. These records and bills will contain the information about your injuries and your medical expenses, and the defense will use the medical records and bills to evaluate your claim. After reviewing the demand, the defense will either accept it, reject it, or provide us with a counteroffer. So, to get the best result possible, we need to make sure we have all your records and bills. That way, we can use these documents to substantiate your demand for payment and work to get you maximum value for your case. Now, this is where we can use your help. We need to know about any medical provider you've seen as a result of your injuries, including the name of each facility where you were treated, the address of each facility, when you were treated or the dates of treatment, and the name of the doctor or doctors that treated you, if you know them. 
The more information we have, the better job we can do of obtaining your records and bills once you are finished treating with your medical providers. And this can help us speed up the process. Now, let's talk about obtaining medical liens. As an overview, the purpose of gathering medical liens is to identify your creditors and account for any money owed for your medical treatment. The time it takes to gather liens can vary, depending on the lien holder. For example, some health insurance companies may take a month or less to provide final lien amounts, while agencies like Medicare can take three months or more to provide final liens. The goal is to make sure your creditors are paid when settling out your case. That way, we can work to avoid any surprise bills later on. Now, let's talk about what a medical lien is. A medical lien in a personal injury case is a legal claim that a healthcare provider, insurance company, or agency has on a settlement to recover money spent on a person's medical treatment. So here's how that works. The patient goes and gets medical treatment without paying up front. Then, the lien holder asserts a lien saying they want to be paid from any recovery in the case. And then, the lien holder gets paid out of the settlement once the case resolves. The lien holder essentially acts as a creditor. So, what are some common examples of lien holders? Well, a lien holder may be a medical provider or a third-party payer. An example of a medical provider that might assert a lien is a hospital or a doctor that treated you and did not get paid for that treatment. An example of a third-party payer that might assert a lien on a settlement is a health insurance company that paid for your medical bills. Another example of a third-party payer that might assert a lien is a government agency that paid for your medical treatment, like Medicare or Medicaid. Now, as we go through this process of obtaining medical liens, there's some information we need from you. Specifically, we need any information that will help us to identify potential lien holders, including any medical providers that treated you, your health insurance information, Medicare or Medicaid information, and the information for any entity or agency that may have made payments for your medical treatment. Once we have the final liens, we can get a better picture of how much money you'll have to pay the lien holders from your settlement. Now, let's finish up by looking at a timeline and talking about where we are in the injury claim process. Typically, by the time we reach this phase in a case, we've had a legal consultation. You would have also signed the documents that make you our client. After that, we typically send out an initial packet of documents to put the other side on notice of the injury claim and to request insurance information. After reviewing the information we receive from the other side, and if we determine that there's money available to pay the claim, we move into the pre-suit phase of the case. This is the phase we've talked about in this video. We will investigate the case. You will get medical treatment. We will work to obtain medical records and bills. And we will work to obtain any medical liens. Once we receive your medical records and bills, and once we've obtained the information regarding liens, we can move into the demand phase of the case. After we send a demand and initiate settlement discussions, we can work to negotiate with the other side and attempt to settle your case. After that, we either reach a settlement or we file a lawsuit and move into litigation. We'll talk more about that in detail later on. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at 321-LAWSUIT. That's 321-529-7848. We look forward to guiding you through your personal injury claim. And we will see you in the next video.